very selfish job because I get to be back there laughing too and it's such a good time. We have a cool lineup for you guys. I'm really excited about the lineup. Everybody got some cool drinks, right? We're good there. you know, Saginaw and Flint. <laughs> and I usually have them introduce me to the stage that I'm from Frankenmuth because people know where Frankenmuth is and I get these like adoring little looks like, oh, Frankenmuth, you know, people have these wonderful little memories from this place, you know? But truth is, I'm actually not from here if I have to tell you a little secret. <laughs> I'm from a little town next door. I'm actually from Millington. That's a shame. <laughs> There's way too many Millington people in here. This is, this is terrible. You're really lucky you're sitting over there, guys. That's a good thing. Have you ever been to the M15 garage sales? <laughs>
one of my basketball games telling everybody how great I was at castrating pigs. <laughs> Not gonna get you a prom date, that's for sure. Sarah's like, I know that. I know that. Yikes, yikes. In 11th grade, in 11th grade, I realized there was a huge epidemic of glaucoma going through my entire class. So I helped everyone grow their medicine. <laughs> not a fast crowd. You're not a fast crowd. <laughs> Hot girls in the ground. Yeah. It was crazy because then I found out I too had glaucoma and I thought, oh, thank goodness for early diagnosis. <laughs> no glasses. I can help you, Don. <laughs> Black minivan in the parking lot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I uh, I don't uh, I don't do the pot business anymore, man. Holy shit, that's changed a lot. It's changed a lot. But I got out a long time ago. Do you guys remember when they started mixing the pot with the brownies? You remember that? Yeah, that's when I got out and I thought, shit, my pants struggle enough already. There is no way. We are not going there. That's not happening. Every summer you work when you're a farm kid. That's just what you do is you work. And I wanted to hang out with my girlfriends on the summer, so we were hoers. We were awesome whores. Really, really good whores. Put your money away. <laughs> In the bean field, hoeing, we hoed the bean fields. Was that just a dollar you were getting out? That's, that's not even very much. I'm kind of, I'm, not, I'm upset. Um, God, we were good whores. Uh, as, it's crazy, at the end of the summer, the, the farmer threw a huge party. A huge party. And we uh, got to watch someone receive an award. The hardest working whore of the summer got an award. It was called the Golden Hoe Award. <laughs> I watched 13 year old girls lose their effing minds over this. Could you imagine if your daughter came home from her summer job? Mom, Dad, guess what? I'm the best whore! And I have an award to prove it. Golden Hoe Award. How ridiculous. My parents must have been just, I, I just assume at night they're like trying to fall asleep and they probably got the giggles. You know how like you get the giggle and you can't just thinking about them stupid little bitches. <laughs> Fighting all summer for a spray painted hoe. <laughs> One my dad used all summer. He just spray painted it and etched the gear into it. That's all he did. Nobody cared about the $3 an hour we got all summer. You worked the whole summer for like 61 bucks. <laughs> Sucks ass. Sucks ass. I can't wait till my kids are old enough. <laughs> I can't wait. Can you guys see the glitter back there? Can you see the glitter lips? Yeah. It's fun. It's super fun. I love the glitter lips. I, I originally started wearing glitter lips on stage because when I was brand new in comedy, I was terrified that I was going to suck. And I thought, if I'm at least nice to look at, no one will boo or throw anything at me. Hopefully, they'll be like, oh, don't wreck the lips. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? So. <laughs> Are you aware there's like 10 rows of people behind you? <laughs> okay, go ahead. It's absolutely fabulous. Oh, thank you. Thank you. From a woman's perspective, <laughs> or a you and your growth, that glitter, and your growth. <laughs>
you know, it keeps me honest. <laughs> so I don't get a sore throat, ever. Uh, <laughs> the question has arise, does the glitter go into your mouth and does it hurt your throat? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Not very often, okay? <laughs> Nothing like live stand-up. Nothing. And I'm not even that great. I mean, there is some amazing 
amazing comedians out there. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss anything. I do have those Hoer t-shirts and hats if you would like one. You can simply PayPal the comedy series and I'll pop it in the mail to you. Send 25 because I need some money for shipping. Of course, all of that stuff has went up in price. But uh, it's a unisex t-shirt, so make sure you send me your name and address, what size you'd like, or if you want a hat, make sure you let me know. And uh, I've had fun laughing with you today. That stuff always cracks me up, especially when there's someone in the front row, like that lady kind of giving me a hard time, and it's fun kind of going back and forth. That's always fun as a comedian, and uh, wow. Just, there's nothing like live stand-up comedy, nothing. I encourage you to get to a club near you very soon. Uh, this is Melissa Hager from the Comedy Series. I have had fun laughing with you today. Have a great day. Bye, guys.